I'm on the January checks worksheet and you'll notice there are repeating transactions in the first 10 rows here. You may use these repeating transactions to set up any type of expense or bank debit, any amount that comes out of your checkbook every month. I'm going to record the phone company here. For I get a phone bill every month. Now this is a global change. Even though I'm in January, every month in the checks worksheet, the phone company will be listed now on the first row here. As you can see on the February, I'll click over to settings and click on February and you'll see that the February checks the first row says the phone company here. I'll click back to settings and click back to January. Now this global change for repeating transactions. You'll find repeating transactions on the deposits worksheet, on the checks, the cash and charges, and on the account balance tracker. To make any changes to these repeating transactions, you will have to be in the period one or January worksheet. And that's it.